Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about event bubbling and event capturing in JavaScript. What is event bubbling and what is event capturing? Definitions wise, I can say like event bubbling is the event is traveling from my innermost to outermost. I will show you programmatically. Okay, just listen to these words. Event is traveling from innermost to outermost. That one we can say like an event bubbling. Event capture is just opposite to event bubbling. Like event has to travel from my outermost to innermost. In JavaScript, my event bubbling is the default behavior. It's a default behavior. My event is traveling from innermost to outermost. Let me let me show you programmatically. Just open Visual Studio Code. Create one HTML file. Right? Test one dot HTML. Test dot HTML. Only one file. Right. Test dot HTML. Okay. Do this. One div you can take it. This is my first div. Under this, there has one more div is there. In this, there has one more div is there. Okay, just you can write some style. Okay, this is my view. View. You can give some padding for this particular view. 50 pixel like this, and you can give some border. Okay, one pixel solid, solid red. Right. Now let me run it. Open with live server. It looks like this. This is my First div on div, this is another div, this is another div. Okay, this div contains this div, this div contains this div. Now, okay, anyway, my, my HTML is like a hierarchy based on it. This is the parent and this one is the child. Inside this child, one more child is there. Now, I I want to add some on click event here. On click, dollar top, div three. This is my third div, right? Now, it's like an inline scripting you can say. In the element itself, I'm going to write some scripting. Okay, here, this is my div one, this is my div two, and this is my div three. Now see, if I refresh my page, if I click on the div three, yes, my div three click event and it's a handler executed. Inside the handler, I written alert of div three, executed, expected only. Now if I click on okay, see, my event traveling to the next level or not. If I click on okay, my event traveling to the next level or not. My event is traveling from innermost to outermost. We can say like event bubbling. It's a default behavior. If you want to stop this behavior, okay, if you want to stop this event bubbling, okay, this event navigation, if you want to stop to the next level, then that time we have one property is there inside the event object that is like a stop propagation stop propagation by using that one we can stop this event traveling from innermost to outermost okay this one event bubbling event capturing event capturing that is the default behavior i already told you that is the default behavior event capturing is not like a default behavior we can achieve this event capturing okay by using the add event listener method okay i want to write i, I, I want to show that event capturing also now itself just see this Event capturing we can achieve by using add event listener method. In the events concept, event session, I already discussed what is add event listener. Add event listener method is used for add an event, bind an event for this particular element in another way. Directly, you can write an event here in the attribute format. This is one way. The another way is like by using add event listener also, we can add an event for this particular element. So how we can write script through script only we can add it so it does add event listener is the method right so i want to add an event by using add event listener for all these methods all these elements not methods elements first get all these elements so we can get it where my all these my divs equals to document dot get element by tag name of the how many elements which contains the tag name is like div three divs so you can get like three divs First, get the first div for using for loop. You can get it where i equals to zero, i less than my divs dot length, length i plus plus. So, first, you can get the first div. This is my div one. Okay, one div, not first div, one div. How you can get it? Divs of your i. See this. Three divs are there. Okay, first time i value is like zero, I can get the first div. Once you get the first div, once you get the first div, can we add an event? An event for this particular div. How we can add my div dot add event listener? Which event you want me to add? Click event. 
and then it's take like a function. It's take one call that function. My third argument is there, right? This is an important here. One Boolean value, we can take it. One Boolean value, we can take it. Now, here you can write some stuff. You can write some stuff. Here you can differentiate. This is my do 3 do 3 And ID, you can write it. This is my do 2 do 2 Okay, here you can write one more ID. It's like do 3 do 3 Okay, do one, do two, do three, whatever, whatever you want, you can put it. Okay, order is your wish. Now, here you can write like a alert, this dot ID, this dot ID. This is represent like what? Which element you clicked, that particular element ID, that particular element ID. Okay, the next context, my this is pointing to next element, the next context, next it go to the traveling to next level, right? Then the time it go to the next element ID or not, like this it is going to work. The concentration part is this one. My add event listener method take three arguments, event, handler, and, and Boolean value. If it is like true, then the time how it is going to be here, see this. If you come here, refresh my page. If I click on this one, my do three is executed, do two, and then do one. Do three, do two, do one. Do three is nothing but what? This one. Next, do two, this one. Next, do one is nothing but this one. My event is traveling from where? Outermost to innermost or not? Outermost to innermost. Say this, this is only the proof. If, if I click on the inner div, inner div is like what? Div one. But my div three is executed and then div two and then div one. If I make it as like false, if I make it as like false, now see this. My event is traveling from div one Next, do two, do three. It's nothing but what? Innermost to outermost. It's an event bubbling. Event capturing is like true. You have to pass the third argument is like true. Then the time it's like an event capturing. If you pass like false, then the time it's like an event bubbling. By default behavior in JavaScript is what? Event bubbling or not? So this is the way my event capturing and event bubbling is going to work. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.